This is problem number five for section 2.3. In this problem it says, for the given function f of x and numbers l, c, and epsilon greater than zero, find an open interval about c. So they want us to find an open interval about c. That means they're looking for x values um, that surround c, on which the inequality absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So we want our y values to still be within this tolerance epsilon. Then give a value for delta greater than zero such that for all x satisfying zero less than x minus c less than delta, the inequality holds uh, for the y values less than epsilon. All right, so long story short, if we draw this picture, they're, mar they're giving us a spot c, so let's look at our information here. They give us c is 25. And they want us to find the x values that for the function, now this is a root function, so I'm just going to kind of draw it, what it would kind of look like. They want us to find the x values that will produce this epsilon value. So they tell us the limit's 2. Right, so this is two there. And then our epsilon values, this is 0.1 and 0.1. So they want us to find the gap here, or the interval from here to here, that's around this 25 mark. And then they want us to state the delta that we would need to use to make sure that we're uh, staying within our tolerance of 0.1 up there. So how do we start this? Well, let's start first of all by finding the gaps for the x values by starting with our y value here. All right, we wanna start with the y value and we can solve for x there. So we're gonna say the absolute value of, they give us the function, so this is f of x minus l less than epsilon is how we start. We plug in absolute value of root 29 minus x minus the limit, which is two, is less than our epsilon value, which is 0.1. Now, I like to start these absolute value, equa or absolute value problems by just saying, all right, we're gonna do the root 29 minus x minus two equal to 0.1. And then, so we replace that and then draw a number line at the end. So what we're going to do is, we're going to say that root 29 minus x minus two is equal to 0.1, or root 29 minus x minus two is equal to negative 0.1. This will give you root 29 minus x equals 2.1, or root 29 minus x equals 1.9 when you add the two over. So now we're going to take the uh, square each side. So let's square the left side and the right side. And when we square the left side, we get 29 minus x equals what's 2.1 squared, 2.1 squared, 4.41. And then we'll subtract the 29. So we get negative x equals 4.41 minus 29. So negative 24.59. So that means x equals 24.59. All right, so that's one of our x values. Or when we square this side, 1.9 squared is 3.61, so we get root, nope, not root anymore. We get 29 minus x equals 3.61. Subtract 29 over, so we get negative x equals, when I subtract it over, I get negative 25.39. Divide by negative, I get x equals 25.39.
So we've got 25.39 here, and we have 24.59 here. Now if we drew, typically with an inequality, right, we're going to draw the number line, mark 24.59 and 25.39, and then we need to test numbers in the middle. But we already know if we take 25 and plug it into this function, or this beginning inequality, so 25, which would be between them, right? 29 minus 25 is 4. Uh, root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 is less than 0.1. So we know that this, uh, the interval would go from 24.59 to 25.39. So find an open interval about C. Our open interval goes from 24.59 to 25.39. So for part A, this is our interval. But what will our delta be? Well, here's the key. We need to pick the smallest, and we've done this a few times now, we need to pick the smallest delta value between these gaps. Now these gaps aren't the same. So what's 25.39 minus 25? Well that's 0.39. So our gap here is 0.39. What's the gap right here? Well this is 25 minus 24.59, which is 0.41. So this gap here is smaller than this gap. Meaning if we use the 0.41 gap on this side, we would be outside of our tolerance for the 0.1, right? We'd be out here, we'd go up, and then we'd go over and we'd be outside that, that tolerance. So we have to use delta being 0.39 for this problem. So we say delta equals 0.39, and that's our solution for the delta value.